Alright everyone, welcome to uh, my little Alien Isolation playthrough here. Uh, I started late in the game because this game is fun and it's scary, so I thought I might as well record myself playing. Uh, I'm not, you know, doing it for views or anything, I'm just really doing it for fun uh, to see, you know, how it goes. Maybe I'll make some future scary uh, game playthroughs, like definitely for Outlast 2 probably when that comes out. Uh, so this is just kind of for fun and to see how things go. Uh, so we're already halfway, kind of, well not halfway in the game, we're just a little ways in the game. A little quick recap of everything that's happened so far. So I came on the ship, I am the daughter of Ellen Ripley, Amanda Ripley. Uh, I came here to kind of looking for my mother, you know, from the first Alien movie. Um, we came upon Sevastopol Station outside of, it's in orbit of Jupiter. Uh, the station looked damaged and we couldn't dock and we couldn't get communications of course with whoever's on board It was all staticky, you know, like most typical horror movies And so we tried I think riding a little cable or a little some kind of little uh, Transit system over to the station, but then something blew up knocked us all off course um, I don't know where my friends are. They could be dead. I managed to get inside an airlock and from there I kind of crawled around and I met a guy named Axel who helped me kind of get around. He gave me a flashlight to put on my head. Um, and then shortly after meeting Axel, he was killed by the alien and dragged into a vent. And that's the last I've ever saw of him. And so I kept exploring and um, I found the alien. It came out of the vent after I turned off a security lockdown. And uh, I've been running ever since, and right here where I am now, I found this little motion tracker that will help me track uh, aliens and uh, any movement around me. Looks like there's another one right here. But yeah, that's basically where we are. I am trying, let's see what my current, uh, my current mission is. I am trying to f find another way inside a door because all the androids will not let me in because they're, you know, little assholes. So, without further ado, that is pretty much where I am, we're all caught up, and time to continue. I also found the Nostromo flight recorder that is the whole reason I came on this ship for, uh, to find out exactly what happened to the ship my mother was on, and the uh, data had been either erased or corrupted, and uh, I wasn't very happy about it, so I had to move on from that and, you know, kind of continue on just surviving and getting off the ship. So I already know I have to go up here. There's my little motion tracker going off, which means something's nearby, but I'm almost positive the alien isn't in this area or he can't be in this area. Um, pretty sure whenever it beeps right now, it's just the androids moving around. Like, there's one. He's just in his little box up there. And then I think, I'm pretty sure, this little thing in front of me, it moves around. Like, when I move, it goes over here. So I think it's, like, the trail to my next objective. I'm not positive, but I'm fairly certain. And this is where I have to go, but these guys won't let me through. And, uh, yeah. So I did find a way out here, though. I've already had the crap scared out of me at this part right here because I was hiding and right as my motion tracker went off this thing opened I got too close to it and I just see the abyss and this thing's like beeping and like that and I thought for sure the alien was about to come out of there and I about shat my pants um, so it's already been pretty fun so we're gonna go in here this is the furthest I've gone I have not crawled in this vent yet oh god this is terrifying Axel also gave me the flashlight and he showed my dumb ass how to use batteries. Oh fuck. Oh, Let shit. me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Tut, tut. This is all this angry. Good 
That didn't go too well for him. Alright, well, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, apparently, when you use the flashlight, you're just kind of supposed to do that. Because, as you can see, I have battery near my health. And I'm still on the first battery so far, so doing pretty well. I have, like, two others, I think. But, God, it's when I see things like this that just, I'm like, ugh. So that's the last thing I want is to crawl under one of those and a freaking alien jump down on top of me from above. Ew, that's nice. Oh, fuck. Is that gonna scan over here? No? Cool. Avoid detection. Yeah, got that right. And I think, yeah, this is the little lean button. Whoa. Oh. Apparently I'm maxed on everything. Oh, that doesn't pause the game. That's unnerving. Damn. I'm just gonna hide here for a second, kind of. See if I can craft stuff, noisemakers. I wish I could make flares, that would be very useful. Because the alien does not like flares from what I've heard. It doesn't look like he's coming over here. I'm going to access this computer. At least I hope it doesn't come over here. Otherwise, I'm going to have a rude uh, surprise. Sensitive corporation information has been automatically detected in this vessel. This terminal has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Siegson. If you have any further questions, please talk to your line manager or your near synthetic Siegson representative. And that's locked. Just so you guys know, I do like to read all this stuff. Whether it's Fallout or this game, I enjoy reading the stuff that the uh, people who made the game have put in. What the fuck is going on? Okay. That was weird. It wasn't letting me move around. Um, but yeah, I do like to read this stuff because, you know, they typed it out for a reason. and Usually gives you more insight into the game. Hiding spots. Nothing special back there. This guy is going to be like right here. Oh, there he is. His eyes are red, so he's obviously not happy. Let's see, what do I, where do I got to go, though? Maybe it's that green screen. Okay, don't let him see you. There's something. Oh, shit. 
this guy evil? I don't think he is. He's the guy I already talked to, but maybe he might be now. Damn. Okay. Um. Now what? Oh, okay. I moved the camera, so now I gotta go back. Oh, what's that? ID card. Take. I don't know, I have a feeling there might be something collectible up there. I need to kind of look for. Alright, I don't see anything, so I'm gonna not go up there and risk dying or getting caught and then have to run and hide, and that'll be a big pain in the ass. Oh, there's a rewire right here, though, I did not see before. Who do not want to turn on the alarm system. Alright, camera's off, cool. See, that's this shit scares me. Every time I go by there, I'm like, what the fuck? Man, there better not be an alien on this elevator. I'm just gonna hide over here just in case. Oh, there's a vent right there, too. Great. Come on. Oh, fuck. Come on. Making me nervous. Comms control. Uh, that's not good. Obviously, I'm going to save while I still can. I'm always used to right trigger zooming in and it's like reversed in this. Okay, so just uh, right in front of me is where I need to go, I think. Although there's a robot out there, so I don't feel like it's right there. It might be up here. God, she is so loud. What does that say? No access? Well, then how come the door's green? Oh. This is a nice little hiding room. Ethanol. Item maxed. Security access tuner. This one and this one. <laughs> okay, that's Commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland Utani bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. Alright, so that's what we said to this station when we got here, and then that's when we got the jumbled response. Oh, here's his reply. Oh, this is what she just said. This is Verlaine 
rain on the Torrens. What the hell just happened? Sevastopol! Did any of our EVA team make it on board? Please respond. We've taken damage in the explosion and are pulling out of Sevastopol space. Systems will be down while we repair. I can't say for how long. Okay, this is what he replied, but we couldn't hear it. This is Waits, Colonial Marshal at Sebastopol Station. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down, and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat, our ranged communications are down, and we need help. Stand off and send help. And we didn't hear it. Of course, they, we never do. They never do. It's always some jarbled, garbled, uh, radio transmission. God, I'm so afraid we actually can... Accidentally, I'm not used to the controls on this. So I keep the med kit because I don't want to accidentally use, like, a smoke bomb or a flashbang or something that's going to totally screw me. I guess I can walk here, huh? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Every fucking time with those vents. Is this rewire? Let's flip it open, get it ready, in case I need to use it. External communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility offline. All outgoing communications halted. <sighs> Why the hell would it do that? Great. Internal communications open on limited channels. Be someone on the station I can contact. Unless the AI's been hacked by somebody, I don't get why it would shut down its own communications. Okay, I can hide on those two if I need to. Good to know. I will definitely be hiding in there later, I'm sure. I assume this guy is hostile as well. I think he's the only one in here, though. Oh, nope, there's two. There's another one. Okay, and my objective is where? To the right. Can't tell if he's right behind me or right next to me. Oh, he's like right there. Oh god. I hope they can't hear the little beeping. I know the alien can if uh if you're using it right next to him, but It's over here is where I have to go. If anyone can hear this, we need help. Oh, these damn cameras everywhere. If I could find, I've seen people use a uh, shock baton before. That would be great. Shh. 
shit. Oh, the door's closing. He just walked in. Okay, it's in the room to my right that I just, or my left that I just passed. Hello? Yeah, I hear you, bro. Chill. I'll be there in a second. Let's see if there's a way. In. Yeah, right over here. Hopefully, since this is the rap less travel, there's nothing over here really that can get me right away. to get that map update too. Oh shit. God, I hope he doesn't see me. Okay. So he just went down there. What the fuck? Do something. Do something, girl. Okay. Okay, so I need to go all the way to the end, go to the right, and get in there. Thought that was an easy button. Restore power? What the fuck? I thought I was restoring communications. This is a nice little place to hide. Yeah, no one's gonna see me here. Alright, it's so on the other side of the room. Hope that guy doesn't come back. Although that door is staying open, and I don't know how I feel about that. Doesn't seem to be coming back, though. I keep forgetting I have the motion tracker now, and that thing will start beeping if he gets close. Which, uh, it's probably in this console. Maybe over here. Okay, yeah, it is this one. And a saves point. Hell yeah. Get it. Ah, damn. Oh, you need a lot of components for this thing. Definitely need to make some EMP. Just gonna double save again, now that I picked up the blueprint, in case I die. What do you mean, please wait? That's not good. Why do I have to wait? What's, what's up? Okay, I guess I'll come back. Hopefully. Actually, I have to leave the... Ah, what should I do? Should I leave the lighting on and take it off? Where am I right now? Rewire. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take that shit off. So I can uh, creep around easier. Jesus fuck! God damn it, those vents! Because it kind of sounds like it could be the alien all of a sudden. Just fuck, dude. Does this show me where the vents lead? Oh, it does. Ah, oh, this is how you get in that one room. As long as there's no aliens in here, it should be all good. She's so loud in these, though. Oh, wait. Oh, this is behind that room. Okay, I was gonna say, this is back by those desks that I hit under earlier.
Man, that guy still has not come back in here. It's been gone a while. Alright, what do we got? Sebastopol, this is Wayland yutani Executive Administrator Nina Taylor, confirming receipt of your transmission. I'm a member of the team assigned to collect the Nostromo flight recorder. The black box in your possession is of primary importance to Wayland yutani Under existing corporate agreements, we should remind you that you must not attempt to read its contents, nor disclose its presence to any third parties. We'll be with you soon. A private message from Marshal Waits will follow. Hmm. All right. Well, Taylor was one of the girls I was with who got separated, or is dead. Either one. There's another vent. This is oh, oops. Man, all the controls are all over the place for me with this. Ah, man. I'm, what am I missing? Charge pack. Dang. You need all three just for one of these. So, where does this thing go? Again. Oh, I gotta go back in that main room anyway? What the hell? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't actually ever reactivate it, did I? Well, then I'll just walk on over. <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely gonna die one of these times. Every time I get in one of those vents, it takes me so long, I feel like for sure that I'm gonna get my ass killed trying to hide in one. The alien will be coming after me, I'll be trying to jump in it real quick, and uh, it's gonna catch my ass. Alright, now I should be able to save again. Hopefully, yep. Cool. Alright, cool. As long as that alien, or I mean that robot guy doesn't come back. Oh, here it is. I think. The hell? Okay, that was easy enough. Oh. What in the fuck is this? To balance values. Oh, 88 and 85. Press matching input when circuit is active. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Up. Up. Fuck. Okay. Up. Hide. Down. Fuck! God damn it. Up. Okay, seriously, what am I saying? Fuck it. Okay, up. Okay, I guess I just gotta press the button while it's on the screen. Samuels! Oh. You're alive! It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I made it! Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people. That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature? It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make- Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Alrighty. Oh, fuck. Unauthorized communication. Please wait to be attended by a member of six personnel. Shit! Just 
run over here. Actually, can I save really quick? Yep, I'm gonna do that in case I die. <laughs> 